Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is for you. It's the 23rd of November, 2018. Messages are timeless. Certainly messages, lessons. The messages come to you. Directly. Right? I'm sharing the lessons that are here. The messages in those lessons. Our personal lessons from each of them are different. I have to go to uh, Toronto today. It's all okay. All right. Welcome. I am Christiana Carr. Chris Carr Superstar. Wingish Nibe Mijeki Kwe. That's Sweet Grass Water Medicine Woman. I am a freaky, freaky ass medicine woman and a great big old weirdo. Who I am externally reflects divine originality. Okay. And you're all weirdos too. Dang right. We are. We are, we are, we are. Um, nice swinging. I want to get ready to go, so I'm going to do just a little quickie spread here. Earth connection. Take that time to connect to that power inside of you. Find that power place in here. Because then it's always with you. You don't need to go anywhere to your power place. Although you might have something outside of you. Power place. Mm, bring it in here. Your center, right? Your heart. Excuse me. <laughs> Well, it's the truth. Truth. Run it through you. Don't just take my word for it, right? You, you all just do run it through your own and trust your own systems, your own power inside of you. Okay? Alrighty. So, just going to do our balancing spread today. Recall in the East, the path of illumination. Sharing their medicine with us. Eagle flies in the East as well. And we go to the it's also fire sun that's the mental down here is the emotional the innocence the place of the child the south right the waters and over here is the west that's the physical the place of the woman introspection bear sits here south would be coyote is innocent bear would be over here um because we go deep deep in um and then we go and we're calling in those powers of the south. <laughs> yeah, the south is the innocent. And we're going to the north and calling in the assistance and the powers of the north, which is the air, the spirit, our wisdom years, oh, maturities, right? All of our relations here. So mental, emotional, physical, spiritual. Balance your quadrants. Um, in So, and then our red path. Our earth walk goes from the south where we are children. We keep dreaming about what do we want to be when we grow up, up to the north when we grow up and we're all grown up and we have our wisdom years and the fertility, the creativity. And we notice we, we created ourselves, well, our lives, right? Because we were created by our creator. Um, but we co-create our lives with them, right? We participate in that as well, right? Our fertile ideas is not just fertility, it's in babies. You know, our creative projects are our babies. Our, our businesses can be our babies. What is that for you? And then we go. The blue road of spirit goes from the east to the west like the sun. We can always count on that. It's always there. Those are the good cycles, right? Night and day. And that the life force, it keeps that life force alive, right? Because life never ends. It continues, continues. The dolphin breath, I found this to take me deeper in journeys or just to go deeper into that relaxation. Think about that dolphin when it comes up for that breath of air, right? Because we've been drowning for so long. We need to breathe our air. Let's not forget, right? Dolphin is a mammal. He doesn't breathe in the water. Dolphin needs to come up to get that air. We all need to come up to get that air. And there's always this little <laughs> as it's releasing that old air before it draws in that new air, right? <laughs> that would be the deeper dolphin breath. Help to bring your focus back to your breath because it is so healing. There's a power we all have connected to us. Power to heal in ourselves. <sighs> One way, by using that breath to help connect us deeper and deeper. The breath work can take us deeper and deeper. So we go 
musing at Brentworth, and to the west. From the east to the west, the setting sun. All right, that's the rice of passage. Rice of passage. The rice of passage. <laughs> you know, it's nice to have rice when you're making that passage in case you get hungry along the way. You know, it can be a long <laughs> Keep yourself nourished as you're going through the changes with the seasons. These cycles of life are beautiful, right? They're causing us to expand and grow. They're so beautiful. See, we walk this red road, right? Then we transition here and we go to that blue road. And we can come right around again if we choose free will. Free will. We all have it. Okay. Not free willy. Oh, see, there I go again. Again, I'm sorry. I'll keep getting pulled off there. <laughs> hey, above, um, below, and uh, within. Thank you. Which in here, let us begin. And begin, begin within. It all begins within. Oh, yeah. Begins within. It all begins within you. In me. And Stu. <laughs> yeah, swinging. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta build up that energy to bring with me to help my family. Send it all that energetically. Okay. Um, books. That's right. That's right. And then we'll call out the cards. Jeez, I'm getting slow on these again. I had that timing down and then I just, it's all right. It's all good. Right? It's divine timing. Not my timing. Hey, in your timing, you can watch it when you've got the timing to watch it. <laughs> Craziness. Great, great, great. I'm excited too because I got a call I've been waiting for and it's help. Yes. So then I go for that appointment on Tuesday. Yes. Help, help. It helps. And I get specific in that help, you know. And I'm inspired. The women's circle last night and I needed that. Oh, oh, I love my women's circles and I hope I want to bring that energy into those. So my response helped to flow through me, right? The connections. <sighs> but it, it really helps. Feel supported. Feel a place where I can release. It's taking me a long time. I still, you know, still kind of pulled them back. Still the YouTube. My YouTube viewers hear my tears more than anybody. Except for sorcery, of course. Um, the daily vibes today. <laughs> I've got them all spread out. I'm like, what am I doing? Right? Because there's so much. So much. So let's <sighs> focus together. What's our main path for today? And the animal walking with us and who's offering their medicines to help us to learn this lesson on our paths that we are all on and we're all walk this one time or another these are lessons no exceptions for everyone different times no prediction of futures it's just at this time and when you watch it will be divine divine timing not our timing so our main main thing to keep in mind today to help us to find that balance stone people Records and knowing revealed. I was just looking at my stone peoples here. I have so many. I love them. We were sharing yesterday in the group. There's any other little one that loves them. I'm like, oh, that's like me. And my friend had to share how we went to this place. Like, look, that's from um, New Brunswick. I have no idea. But it looks like um, it was made, right? Looks like it was made because you look at this one. I believe this was a piece because it was um, kinsed. So I don't know if this one was made or if that's more like the rust, right? I heard that these pieces with rust on them would be used because rust um, attracts the rust, right? To clear the rust out of you. 
was was coming out. Then this was my my dragon stone that was calling to me. You see the little heart in there? Yeah, can you see it? Oh yeah, and it looks like a little wing. And the wing in there, I just love one. This is a Labradorite, and it's uh, yeah, it called to me. Oh, oh. oh yeah. So anyway, stone people. Not the stoned people, although that can happen sometimes too. It's all legal now, eh? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I've got so much to do. Embracing the unknown, right? We can hold that rock and, and that shares with us. Or getting into our own, right? As we're sharing in this, this time and space and learning to speak out. You speak up, asking for those help, the help and the assistance that we need. Like I said, the help and assistance is coming in and embracing the unknown. I don't know how this is going to go. I just know I need help, right? I don't know what to do. So I need to go and seek out those people that can help help guide me, right? And with us, tapping into yourself. See, we were talking about that dolphin. So to get in touch with that deeper, to draw you deeper into that unknown of who you are and having that revealed to yourself of who you are, the highest, the best interest of all. Right. Yeah. Day to day. Hold a stone or something. They're very good for grounding as well, right? I've heard about the crystals and stuff. There's many different. This is a red tiger's eye. Right? There's so many different kinds, so many healing properties that they have. Right? And these are cool and you can hold them and feel what you're drawn to. Okay, and that would help you in that moment, in those times, right? So you think, these are us. All of our relations, part of us. All of our relations are part of these rocks and stones as well, right? They're part of us. We're part of them. It's all connected. Okay, the female, what are we in, in, in? The creativity, the thoughts, ideas come from the woman and then the man takes the action the male energy male female it's not all man woman male male female all have the energies so as we go inside through that reflection right and we're praying for that inner peace and as we keep that inner peace in ourselves right peace begins within i did that something else okay anyways um Right? We can scrutinize or we can rip everything to bits. So it's good to look at the details. But sometimes we need to remember to take that step back and to see the bigger picture. Because if we're chewing every little bit, everything to bits, okay, we're going to be disrupting our inner peace. Right? We can set those prayers out there, right? And say, please, I need help with this or whatever, but... Like I said before, and I'm not the first one to say that I learned that from somewhere, and I just love that analogy. When you go to a restaurant, you put it in order. You know, you don't go back and check to make sure they got all the ingredients and how they cook. You sit at your table and you wait for the server to bring it to you. Right? Or we could go in the back and, well, oh, you got this, you got this. And they might end up spitting in our food, right? Might get some extra we didn't want. Point being, Right? We can look at that bigger picture, step back. There's time to look at those details too, that we need to look at those details. But if we get too fixated on that, we disrupt our inner peace. We're all responsible for our own inner peace and what we choose in there. Right? Has anybody read that the Hemen Ha book again? That Who Moved My Cheese? Right? Sometimes we can take so long just trying to go over everything, we miss those opportunities. That are presented to us, right? Because we're sitting there going, hmm, ha, huh, wonder what to do. And we go over and over analyzing whatever that then the opportunity's got. Right? But it's a cycle. It will come around again, right? So don't beat yourself up. It's a lesson to learn. Right? Lesson to learn. Always be kind and gentle with yourself. The actions today, here we go. Keep telling those stories. Keep that expansion going in, in your life. And that helps others too, right? Because as we were expanding in ourselves, we're expanding others. Share your stories. Those stories can help each other. 
And that point was brought up again, and I've said it here before too. You don't know what is going to have an impact on somebody else, right? We just live our lives, right? Tap in touch with our inner peace and live our lives with integrity, impeccable integrity, right? Taking care of ourselves. We help others in that too. Just by them watching us. We don't even we don't even know. It's not something we have to say, right? Because the teacher can choose what to teach. But the teacher has no control over what the student learns. We're all in control of what we're learning and the lessons we pull from that. Because we all know what's what's needed inside, right? And our own way. We have prayers of the abundant life that we have had, right? And we can pray for that inner peace. And as long as we're not scrutinizing, we can embrace it unknown about, okay, this is how I've always done it. I've always analyzed how do I move in a different way, right? How how can I do things in a different way, right? So that's part of this, looking at all old habits and whatever. How have we disrupted our own peace, right? The stories that we have told ourselves, do they keep us stuck? Repeating the same unhealthy cycles? Or do they help us to grow and expand from those cycles and create newer, more healthy cycles, right? We've had the examples throughout time, throughout history. We can look back in our stories, in our histories, and look deeper for the truth, not just what some put out there because they're trying to control the views of all, right? Because they see that's a power thing or whatever it is. Okay, let's not get into Right, tomatoes, tomatoes, right? It's finding that within, finding that peace within, sharing your stories and acknowledging that in yourself, being thankful for how far you've come and what you can do and how you pay that forward to others too. Right? Let's be grateful. We have this life. We are not alone. We are in this together. And all of our relations have left us. This, this knowledge to help us to keep going, to keep that expansion, right? It's there. It's deep. And we all, we all have those records in our DNA. Every single one of us. So we are all connected. We can all get in touch and know. Our personal history, the history of humanity that we are all part of. We are all in this together. No exceptions. I love you all. Uh, Got to get going. Um, but I ha I just wanted to check in today. Bring that energy in. And uh, got to keep that balance. I got to bring this with me. And not scrutinize. Go over detail. Right? For me personally. Right? If you're putting together slideshows or whatever. Things of memories. And you're trying to. You can't please everybody, right? So you tap into that inside. You be guided by your own infinite wisdom inside of you. And things will, will end up perfect, right? But when we try to have so much control over it, ah, release that. And I allow that help to come in through me and that guidance. And then you tell the stories of those ones that we loved. That's amazing. And keep the memories of life within us. So they're always here with us. Life is really infinite. Make rich, big as heart hugs. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. And thank you so much for being you and shining your light through in everything you do. Because this world definitely needs you. And there's a much brighter place every time you shine your light. Just for you being in it, okay? It's truth. Truth. Believe it or just accept it. We're in this together. You're not alone, ever. Love you.